Okay. New new echo. All right. All right. I think that might be a fun game to play. I look forward to that game. This is the fighting game, right? It's not how much time you have. It's how you use it. Wait, what is this? Have we seen this game? Convergence, a League of Legends story. A platformer? Okay. That could be cool. I'm about to play that. Alright. That looks pretty cool, actually. No more kings, no more queens, no- Okay, I, I need to know what kind of game this is. I actually really enjoy this art style. I've seen this before. It's a roguelike. No more mage seekers. It all ends now. Dude, all, all of those games look really fun. Where's the fighting game, though? Wait, where's, where's the fighting game? It's literally Hades. That's going to be cool, dude. Fighting game is another dev. Oh, it's not made by Riot Forge. I see. Okay. All right. Pretty cool. Well, Riot Forge just made an excellent announcement, which made me so happy. I Bro, I, I can't be the only one who gets tilted that he has a mic that he's able to connect to his shirt and he doesn't connect it to his shirt. I can't be the only one, right? Put it down, bro. It literally has a clip on it. He has this little microphone thingy that you're supposed to connect to. It's always here. He's always holding it. Like, it, 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 this, is, this is literally me when I go to a bar and there's music everywhere and I feel more comfortable with a cup of alcohol in my hand so I don't have to do stuff with my hand and dance. I can just hold it and I feel like I'm act actively doing something. That, that's, that's, that's literally me in a bar. I feel uncomfortable without a drink in my hand because then what are my, what are my hands doing? I decided to just go out and record a video, which means this video is not gonna have a single edit. In case you don't know, okay. Riot Forge is a publisher under Riot Games. These guys team up with already existing game studios to make what a games good using game. Leaks IP, what a good game. Which is why this is so amazing to see. Wait, Forge did Ruined King? Did the Forge did Forge do Ruined King? Because that was a sick game, dude. That was a great game. That was really, really well done. Like the story was amazing. The combat was really good. Everything was great in this game. See, Riot essentially decided to just... Oh, it's just a publisher. Okay, lore. okay. It's been eight months since we got the last non-champion related story and almost five months since the last story related to a new champion. So it seems like Riot is pretty much done telling stories through walls of text, which is why it is so cool to see Riot Forge still going forward so strongly. Especially since the point of Riot Forge is to tell stories from the League universe without using League. Because League of Legends is a horrible tool to tell stories. Anyway, let's talk about- Chat, is League, of, is League of Legends dying? Let's be honest here. Once the current generation who plays League gets old, will it just die? <clears throat> no? Okay, good to know. About what actually happened. All right. we got Not yet, never dies. Trailer. Now, when this trailer starts, you may notice that it looks very similar to the call cinematic. I mm -hmm. wonder if this is Riot Forge poking fun at the cinematic we got this year. But it's more likely because it's Riot Forge, and so they are forging the new games. Anyway, Willem then knocks up the shards, which reveals the new games. The first one revealed is Song of Nunu. This is a game we've known about for a while now. We already saw some of the gameplay and some of the trailers. It is a game that is gonna take us into the Freljord, where I look it will likely it. deal with the story of Nunu's family as well as some shenanigans with- I really would love to see Braum make an appearance in this game. It, it can be the smallest appearance. He can be a little NPC who you sit down by the fire and just have a, one cool story told to you or something like that. I would love to see that. That would make me happy. Lissandra. Song of Nunu is made by- Braum killed Nunu's mom, I, I refuse to believe that. There's no way. By Tequila Works, which is a developer that made adventure games in the past, namely Rhyme and Guilt. So this seems to be their take on an adventure game using League's IP. The important part is that we learned that this game is coming out this year in fall. 
Originally, this game was supposed to be released last year. In fact, Riot accidentally released the game release bundle of skins in League. So in the past, it did already have a set release date. But this game was delayed a few times so that Riot Forge could make sure this game was really good. Delaying games is always the right choice. Up confidence. And so finally, in fall 2023, we'll get to play Song of Nunu. After this, the trailer showed Convergence. This is also a game about which we have known about and of which we do have some gameplay. It is a 2D platformer made by Double Stallion. Of course, Double Stallion are the devs who made Speed Brawl, which is why it seems like Convergence will be a fast-paced platformer, which will focus on Echo and his tiny little time machine. Besides the last gameplay trailer we got, here we actually got to see some new footage. Like okay. perhaps that first boss? It does seem to be a bit too jacked up for a normal goon. So who knows, maybe this is gonna be a future Cam Baron. Also, I believe that some of these shots are gonna be parts of cinematics. Unless they become the release trailer. Unfortunately, I never played Speed Brawl, so I don't have to context as to what the gameplay could be like. I, I should probably do that soon. And the important info here is that this game is coming out in the summer of 2023. Okay. So we're gonna play this before Song of Nunu. Interesting. And lastly... I gotta say though, like, 2D platformers are okay. They've never really been my kind of game. I'll probably give it a try though, if I, but this, this looks way more fun. Although, it seems criminal to give Silas a buzz cut. That seems just criminal to me. Is this a bus cut or is this a, just a really bad angle? We got a brand new reveal. The Mage Seeker, a Demacian pixel art game about Silas. Okay, I said new, but a few weeks ago there was a bit of a leak. People found the trademark for this game got locked down, which was revealed publicly. Anyway, this one will be interesting because it is likely that I'm gonna this play will the hell be a roguelike game. Past Riot Forge work was always an evolution of an already existing game. Hextech Mayhem was made by the creators of Bit Trip Runner, okay. which Hextech Mayhem was based upon. Ruined King was an evolution of Battle Chasers. Both made Oh wow. Holy crap. Yo, it's the same game. Of Battle Chasers. Holy crap, it's actually I've never played this game, but it looks exactly the same. Wait, is that Garen? <laughs> that looks just like Garen. It's a reskin. Both made by a studio called Airship Syndicate. And now Song of Nunu seems to be an evolution of Tequila Works adventure games. Convergence seems to be an evolution of Speed Brawl, okay. which now means that since the Mage Seeker is developed by Digital Sun, who made an excellent roguelike called Moonlighter. I gotta look this game up, chat. I gotta look up Moonlighter. Give me a sec. 2018, very positive. It's an action RPG with roguelike. Oh, yes! Action RPG, that's what I like to hear. Bro, that looks amazing. All right, I'm already hyped. Holy crap, that looks hype. With Moonlighter being a roguelike about you having a shop, which means you go out and kill monsters and get items. It's a, it's, a, it's a cool roguelike game. But that would mean that Silas is also getting a roguelike game, which is something totally new for us. I really hope it has strong RPG elements in it. Roguelikes for me are more fun if it has a really good RPG-like story to it. That's what I enjoy in roguelikes, personally. I really hope so. It could be a roguelike, but like, I, I want a good, good like, growth. It's story heavy. I really hope it is. Previously, all Riot Forge games were finite. You pretty much finish them and then you're done. If you want something that lasts longer, you have to go to the live games. But a roguelike could counter that. It is a genre known for replayability. So this could be the first Riot Forge game that might get pushed forward with more updates in the future. However, remember that none of this is confirmed. We don't actually- Wait, doesn't Hextech Mayhem, uh, Hextech Mayhem have updates as well? I'm pretty sure they released new, new songs, right? Am I crazy here? 
If I had a DLC, what would be the first one? I know if it is a roguelike game, so I'm just guessing here. Also remember, Riot Forge is all about telling stories, and roguelikes are not really the best at doing that. Unless you wanna talk about Hades, which is something I'm gonna talk about in a future video. Okay. Hello, this is me from like two hours in the future. I also wanna point out that we now have some descriptions of the game. And it seems like every site everywhere, including some official sources, are describing this game as an action RPG. There are okay, so listen, me personally, I like Hades. It was fun to play, but I'll be honest, I would prefer this game to be more akin to Zelda than Hades, if that makes sense. If you could do a marriage between both like Hades replayability, but Zelda story kind, like where you actually, I don't know, man. And when I mean Zelda, I mean like early, early Zeldas, like from decades ago. I don't know. There are no mentions of roguelikes anywhere. And I feel if it was a roguelike, it would probably be a strong thing to mention at the beginning. So, right now, I am still holding on to my dream that this is gonna be a roguelike, but it can actually be just a story-driven RPG as well. But again, looking I hope at the is. history of Riot Forge games and how they evolved I hope it is a story-driven RPG. I really want this to be a Silas roguelike. Anyway, now, into the past. Or, like, two hours into the past. Anyway, since this is the first time we got to see the Mage Seeker in action, let's have a look at what's in the trailer. First, we can see Silas fighting someone from the Demacian Dauntless Vanguard. But it seems like that soldier is being shielded by a mage. Which also means that this game is probably gonna point at some of the hypocrisy. There is also this frosty beast which makes me think that this game is gonna happen in a prison. If it is a roguelike game, I would love to see Silas trying to escape the Demacian prison again and again. And oh, this frosty I don't know about that. thing could be just one of the beasts the Demacians captured. Which reminds me, in the canon story, Silas escaped, then he traveled north to the Freljord to get some allies. But then we technically never learned what happened to Silas after he decided to march back south onto the Demacians. I really want to learn about the story of Silas. Isn't there like a book or something being written about it? Am I crazy here? Or is something already out about the story of Silas? There's a comic. Are there no books? There's a comic. Comic, not book. Lux comic. Is it already out? It's a... The Lux comic is about Silas. It is out on Riot's website. Oh, why can't it be a novel, dude? It's free, too. Let's read the comic. It's free. It's been out for a while. Is there nothing new coming out? Dude, I wish they would put out a novel. Just like the, the Ruination, but for Silas. Because... For me, there is something. I, I'm, I'm sure most of you guys or girls have not read um, The Count of Monte Cristo. But for me, there is something so special about like prison break stories when read from books. It's such a fun topic to read. Because you really can immerse yourself hard. It's, it's a very easy scenario to imagine yourself in. I, I get so immersed when I, when I read about like a prison break because you're in the same time thinking, what could he do different? It, it's, it's just a beautiful read. So the story really, really calls my name. And the fact that he would go to Freljord afterwards, and I love the Freljord, would be beautiful to read about. I, I hope they want to write a novel on this. Come to symbolize the darker side of the great city as a boy's ability to root out hidden sorcery caught the attention who eventually imprisoned him for turning those same powers against them, having now broken free, lived as a hardened revolutionary, using the magic of those around him to destroy the kingdom he once served. We got a cinematic, but that cinematic never got a conclusion. So what if Silas got captured again? And now, in this game, he is trying to escape for the second time. Mm. That would be cool. Anyway, moving on, we can then see one of the camps with a mage in it. This would line up with some of the camps Silas built the first time he escaped. All the mages who wanted to start a revolution lived Thanks, around the Demacia in these little camps. In the next shot we can see Silas fighting a... Dauntless Vanguard Helm. It could be possessed by magic because it is made out of petricide so it is constantly absorbing magic. But it could also be a piece of Kale's statue. And lastly, in the bottom corner we can see that he is fighting some of the Demacian rangers. And the big piece of information here is that this game is coming out in spring 2023. So this... Alright chat, help me out. 
I'm not American. What does spring mean? I all I when I hear spring, I I, I think of like colored leaves. When is when does spring start? March, April? Yo. That's right around the corner. Okay. It's gonna be the first All right. game we get to play. Nice. I can also point out that this game got its own website now. With nothing in it. But you can make Silas dance around. And that's it for this update from Riot Forge. We still know that there should also be a Shreeman game. That one was teased a while ago, but so far we have no idea what that one is about. I'm most excited I'm for this one. Happy something is Second most for this one, right last for this one. I think it's clear that everyone could feel how League kind of slowed down. I don't know on the gameplay side, I haven't played League in a while. But at least the community outside of gameplay kind of dispersed. And now I'm interested to see if people get back together again. Because okay. this year, in 2023... We're gonna be playing three Riot Forge games, who have a history of releasing some really good ones. And I am especially excited because all of these games should be pushing the lore of League of Legends forward. Do we wanna bet how many stories we're gonna get until then? <laughs> nice one. Alright, listen. You know what I'm excited about? You know why I'm excited about this game here? First of all, if, there be, if this game is being built by a company that already has the entire engine set up, right? So they have the engine for it. All they got to do is make the models. That's not very hard to do. It's basically pixel art. It's extremely easy to make the models and whatnot. That means this entire game is 100% going to be focusing on gameplay mechanics and story. I can't ask for more. There's a very good chance we get a very, very, very fun game to play and a very, very nice story to learn. That's why this gets me excited. I can always forgive graphics. I cannot forgive a trash story and I cannot forgive trash gameplay mechanics. So I'm excited for this one the most, personally. The only reason I'm not really excited for this game, I don't know if it's just me, but in my brain, for some reason, it feels like a kid's game for two-year-olds. I know that's not the case, but there's a little part of my brain that looks at this and, and thinks like this is built for four-year-olds. Like it, 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 it just does that. I don't know. My brain just does that. I, I feel like this is a PG3 game or something. I don't know for, for, for like little kids. I know I'm wrong and I'm 100% sure that this game is actually being built for people older than four years old, but the aesthetics of it just confused my brain and it, it just doesn't give me that excitedness that I want to have for it. But overall, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a good game. I'm just more excited for this one. All right, that was it. That was the reaction content.